Here's Informatica's perspective around a data governance framework. This is based on our practical experiences and working with a number of customers across the globe. Starting with the first, strategic drivers. It's critical when you're starting out with data governance, identify what are the key business drivers you're trying to resolve. Some examples include regulatory compliance, operational efficiency, or creating a culture of data or digital transformation. You could have several business drivers. Next, focus on the governance outcomes. For example, data democratization, where making data freely accessible for the end users while ensuring quality and privacy standards. Next, you could also have efficient regulatory management, where anytime regulators are coming in asking you, hey, show me data quality of this product of this type. Typically, what we hear is it takes customers few weeks to respond to the regulators. Why? Because uh, quality of the product may be measured in multiple systems and applications. There may be programming codes. Consolidating that into a single view is typically hard. Next, you have quality management and also having a 360 view around the data. The third piece in the framework is the people. This is about creating diversification around the organization, representation from business, IT, and other groups within the firm. Then comes the process. It could be around process for identifying issues around data, remediation, uh, policy reviews, setting up controls around data so people can have a view into how the data can be used for what purposes. And lastly, technology. Here you could have multiple technologies to address these needs. For example, data governance technology. Uh, you have a data catalog data quality, data privacy, and other related technologies. Here, the big question for you is, how are you implementing a data governance framework? What are some of the things that are top of mind? I'd love to hear from you. Now, this brings us to the second big piece of the framework, which is people. Here is a good example from New York Life. They created an organization that represents different pockets of the business. At the top, they have the Enterprise Steering Committee, Second, they have the Enterprise Data Governance Council, representing data leaders, technology leaders, governance leads, and representation from the architecture side. And next, you have the data stewardship. Here, what's interesting is New York Life compartmentalized their data by different domains, like customer, product, or vendor. So depending on the organization, you might compartmentalize your data by domains, by business lines, by projects. So depending on what model fits best, at the domain level, New York Life identified different personas, and these are the folks who roll up their sleeves and make data governance a real thing, like really operationalizing data governance, turning the strategy from the enterprise teams, the steering committee, into an actual implementation. And last comes the data custodians and the enterprise data governance office, representation from technology and other groups to ensure Data governance meets all the dimensions around metadata management, data cataloging, data quality, and privacy. Now that we reviewed the people aspect, let's take a closer look at the process aspect, which is one of the key ingredients of this framework. Data governance is not a one-time project. It's a continuous journey. It's a collaboration between the executives, the operational teams, and the enterprise. As you can see here in this process slide, Executives contain data governance program sponsors. They realize the value in the program and invest in it. Next, we have the enterprise. Here you have representation from different pockets of the business, different leaders who provide the strategic support and objectives. And next, we have the data governance COE. The main component of the COE is to establish data stewardship. It might require program management, consulting, identification of different technologies, building a strategy. This is a group that really makes data governance a real thing, the operationalization of data governance. They help you operationalize data governance. And as you can see, data governance is a continuous journey which requires input from the ground and to the leaders to ensure quick wins are identified, data challenges are timely identified and dealt with. That was our topic 2B, where we reviewed business challenges around data governance and how do we establish a data governance framework. Thank you for watching.